Hey there, welcome to my channel. I'm on the mission to hit 100,000 subscribers before the end of 2025, and your support means everything. So don't be that person who watches but doesn't subscribe. Thanks for being here, and let's jump right in. Hello everybody, yes, it's with ya, and welcome back to another tutorial on the Twin Place channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the recall wrench um, in Girl Garden. It's honestly very, very simple to do, so this will be a very small tutorial. Um, thank you guys for being patient with the Girl Garden series and the Steel Brain Route, all that kind of stuff. I have a lot of more videos coming, which I'm excited about. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna just hop in the studio. If you're new to the channel, the subscribe button, turn on notifications, means a lot to me. Um, now, if you're just watching this and you haven't been watching the Girl Garden series, I recommend you go and watch the Velocity videos. I'm kind of talking about getting the kit and everything. As of course, everything's in the description, guys. All the links are in the description. My Discord, most importantly, come through there because I do give you guys scripts. Um, in this video, we're just going to be talking about the gear. Um, so, it's actually a very simple script. So, you guys won't even have to get anything in the, like any models or anything. Um, but you're just going to have to go edit it yourself. Now, of course, with the future updates of the other gears we're going to be using, uh, we'll easily just go through that. But, um, yeah, so... I'll actually just show you guys if I hit play right now because I'm pretty sure it's in my inventory. Yeah, so it's right here, TPD Gear Shop. Um, and I don't remember the last few. I think we did the gears specifically. But, yeah, it's just a little wrench and you click play and it TPs you back. Very, very simple. And it has its uses um, and it does a little, you know, minus one or whatever. So we kind of got that to work the way we wanted it to, which is great. Um, now, what I noticed is a lot of people are wondering... Um, if you do have an error where it's like you pop up the seeds and it's like shop not data loaded yet, uh, just remember that uh, the way I programmed this was you have to wait for the global messaging service to go through. So yes, you do kind of have to wait the full five minutes unless you want to just test it and go into service script service. You can turn it down to like five seconds or whatever and it will refresh every five seconds. But it does work. It's just the fact that you have to wait for your things to load because if you actually go to the if you go to the gear shop, um, right here uh it's gonna do the same thing it's not gonna pop up until this is fully done but i want to let you guys know that i'm actually redoing that and i'm gonna be changing the whole system with uh the seed shop and everything just because i want to make it more professional and written correctly i guess is the way to say it but okay so going into this very simple to do you're gonna go to your service script service under services and inventory service you're gonna go to gear activator now um what you can also look at was these buttons up here we use we did a server event where you just fire remote events teleport and we teleport the player humanoid position to wherever we want it to be now basically all we're doing is now i want you guys to actually yeah keep note of this if you're just watching the video and you just want to make a wrench for your game um very simple enough if you were to just have a tool so we have our tools in here but if you guys were to just to make yourself a tool um specifically we have a recall wrench we have a sound in it um if you make yourself a tool and you add a local script, okay, you literally could just do what exactly what we're doing. So you could do tool.activated, so whatever script.parent equals tool, tool.activated, and then you just find the player. Um, and player is just tool.parent.parent. .parent, so very simple to do in a local script. So I could actually just, yeah, I'll write this out for you guys if you're doing this in, in a different thing. But it's like local tool equals uh, script.parent. Um, and then, uh, yeah, local player is actually just game.players.localplayer um, and then you could just do a tool.activated um, and then yeah you just do the function so we'll just go through here and do the function um, just like this and then all you would actually have to do and this is where we added the script is right down here guys so um, go inside your gear activator last time it was just all these print statements all you have to add is this right here so player.character wait for child human root part dot position equals gear shop dot position um, you do need to grab the gear shop. So gear shop is workspace and the way for child shops. And then we're going to do um, dot gear shop and then wait for the child of the TP part. Um, I just did get surface workspace. If you don't have to do that, you can just do game dot workspace. Um, but either way, just the way you can do it. Um, and yeah, that's all you need to do. That's all you need to do right here. And that should work for you guys. Um, now, another thing what I was trying to say is if you do this in a local script with the, um, the player or whatever, uh, you would, of course, do this, but you would have to, um, this wouldn't work because this is local sided. So you would need to make a server event, which we did over in this video. Um, and like, as you see how it's, so that teleport on server events, you would just do 
um, whatever. So you do local replicated equals game uh, you know, get service replicated storage and then local event equals replicated uh, wait for child events or is it remote events? Yeah, dot teleport. Okay, so you just make sure you make a remote event so you can go here and make remote event um, and then name it teleport and then you just do event fire server and then you go and you do player and then you're going to need to do the same spot so it's like wherever tp you want to go so if it's like game dot workspace dot tp part like if you just have a part in workspace you want to tp to that works perfectly um but you kind of get the point if this is a local script so uh goes with that said um that's about it you guys um just don't even worry about this all you need to add is this right here because we are using module script so it's already service already right and um at the gear shop but yeah so that's the recall wrench it's actually super simple um, like we said in the last video, we're talking about gears. If you want to customize this, it's also very simple to do. You just go to toolbox. Um, well, I mean, depending on how you, if you want to make it, you make a part and you can like weld everything together. There's a tool grip editor plugin I recommend getting. If you don't have that plugin, there's also many more plugins out there. Um, and then the sound as well. You can just search up like audio. You can search up like teleport and then you can just change the, um, I use this Goku one, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so you can just like insert it and then change this ID right here. Um, but yeah, so this is how it should be formatted though. But I mean, you can add like more parts in here, of course, it doesn't break it. But yeah, and then just put that back into tools and it should work, you guys. Um, so that is it. That is the simple, simple tutorial. I will put this and publish it to the uh, new kit as well. But um, hope you guys did enjoy this little tiny tutorial. Nothing too crazy, just talks about, you know, we're grabbing the player humanoid, uh, the character. And then we're just going to TP them to the part. Um, but yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.